Usually when we build computers, we plan things in advance because most things can be checked in advance. Takasha ba tong motherboard sa case na to? Okay ba tong GPU para sa system na to? So everything can be planned on paper, but what's so easy theoretically might not translate well in real life. Here are five scenarios where you actually have to be building your computer before you can see if the parts you've chosen actually work in your build. But before that, I can't imagine any scenario where you don't want to hear about the good deals from our sponsor. So what are you doing unactivated windows? Mo? Well, lucky you! Pinakabago mula sa cdkeyoffer.com Windows 10 and Windows 11 activation, activation codes. Code. Legit, safe, at pinakamura. Madali lang um order. Hanapin ang Windows version na gusto mo. Piliin ang preferred payment method. Wala pang 5 minutes, may cdkey ka na para sa Windows mo. Marami na kaming natulungan. Dati, sad and depressed ako. But now, I found a love of my life. Dati, aimless and walang purpose ang life ko. But now, I'm a world-class Zumba instructor. So, web developer ako and content creator for a YouTube channel. And ngayon, ganun pa rin ako, pero activated na yung Windows ko. Kaya ako naghahanap ka ng legit, mura, at original software. Check out cdkoffer.com Check out cdkoffer.com Check out cdkoffer.com Fans, they seem like such an easy thing to plan for and so easy to install. Mount them into the case, plug the power end into the headers on your mobile. But depending on the number of fans and their position, it might be difficult to get them all plugged into the motherboard. Especially if you're the OC cable management type of guy that doesn't want a lot of wires crisscrossing throughout the computer. Yes, you can make them go through the back and then peek out through the front, but that's only possible if the wires actually reach that far. Kaya madali sabihin on paper, oh yes, kaya kaya tong mga number of fans na to. Pero pagdating sa build, susuriin mo talaga yan. If I put the fan here, aabot ba yung wire niya to the header? Now, this isn't a big problem because you can still power fans even if they're not plugged into the MOBO. You can get a fan hub. But again, whether you need a fan hub, the size of the fan hub, the position of the fan hub, it's best to be decided when you're actually building and you can see the position of the fans and the length of their cables. How many hard drives can actually fit into a case? On paper, this seems very easy to answer. Malinaw na malinaw naman dun sa manufacturer specifications how many HDDs can fit. But in practice, a lot of the time, that max number is only possible if you buy accessories like additional drive base, which are very hard to get dito sa atin. Pangalawa, that max number is only possible sometimes if you move stuff around. If your AIO is not in front but on top. If your GPU is only a certain length. So it's a max theoretical number which is possible but you need to configure things in a certain way. Now technically, you don't even need drive base to fit a hard disk drive in. Wherever you have free space in your case, especially if your case is a big one, as long as you have a secure spot, you can place the hard drive as long as it doesn't rattle around. Pero medyo DIY yung aesthetic na yon. So how many 3.5 inch drives can actually fit in a case looks easy to determine on paper, but the actual number is better determined when you're actually building the computer. Another question we get all the time is what capacity PSU should you get? 550 watts, 650 watts, 750 watts? And on paper, that's super easy to solve for. You just total up all of the power needs of each of your components. But in real life, it's not so simple because all of that is variable. The amount of energy, the amount of electricity each component gets, depending on the load or how much work it's doing. That's why you have PSU calculators where you can feed in all of your components and it will spit out a recommended PSU. But even those guys can disagree quite a lot. The range can vary depending on which PSU calculator you're using. Dun palang nakita mo that it's very hard to come up with an exact specification that yes, for sure, covered na to lahat. This is the minimum that you need. There's usually a range of wattages that you can choose from para sigurado that everything is getting enough power. We usually recommend at the higher end of the range. For mid-range to high-end builds, that's usually 650 watts. You can power up a very decent system already with that. Although for enthusiasts, the default is always 750 watts, 80 plus gold. 
in an ideal world, what you would do is you get a PSU from the lower end of the range that you think. You would try it out for normal operation, for operation on load, and if nothing funny happens, if your system is stable, if all of the components are getting the power that they need, then you're okay with that PSU and you've saved money because you got the PSU at the lower range. And if it doesn't work out, then you would move up to a higher wattage PSU. That's the ideal world. Nobody has the time, patience, and budget for that in the real world. Kaya yun, usually nagiging stock advice na lang. Oh, 650 watts, okay na yan in general. 750 watts, okay na yan in general. And the general rule being, if in doubt, get more watts. GPU clearance, the length of the GPU that a case can take, easy to check, EIO, mounting points, and size. Whether a 360mm RAD or a 240mm RAD AIO can be installed in front, in top, sometimes in the rear. Also very easy to check. What's not easy to check is if you combine the two. A front-mounted AIO with the length of a GPU. None of the manufacturers tell you that even though front-mounting an AIO is a popular option these days. The problem is that the front-mounted AIO is the space meant for the GPU. But to be fair to the case manufacturers, it's also very hard for them to determine how much space is left for the GPU after you front-mount an AIO because the thickness of these guys can vary. The thickness of the radiator varies between types, models, brands. The thickness of the fans also varies depending on what you get. So it's really very variable. On paper, easy to check. But if you're front mounting an AIO with a rather long or large GPU, the only way you can really determine if the GPU will fit after you front mount the AIO is doing an actual build. How dangerously do you want to live? This CPU cooler, the Noctua NHU12S, this is the Redux, but it's the same height as the non-Redux version, is 158 millimeters in height. This NR200P, the stated CPU cooler clearance height is 155, so less than the height of this guy. But actually, if you use the included vented side panel and remove the case fan mounts, you can fit this guy in. What we're driving at is that Checking the height of a CPU cooler is super easy on paper. Checking out the clearance for cases for that CPU cooler is super easy as well on paper. But in practice, you can find that sometimes you can cram in parts that on paper seem impossible to cram into, into a case. Now, this is an ITX case, so it's a bit of an unusual situation. We run across the question all the time. For example, you have a 158mm height CPU cooler and your case can only fit a 159mm cooler. On paper, sure, there's a 1mm difference. But in practice, it's very hard to recommend for you to get that case. Even if it fits, the cooler might be flush or might be pressed against the tempered glass side panel of the case. And since it's glass, you don't want something constantly pressing against it. Whether the cooler will actually fit and whether it fits comfortably to the peace of mind of the user is something that sometimes you might need to have the actual physical parts to check before you can determine that for yourself. And the issue of clearance can be applicable to a lot of the components of a computer. The height of the RAM, will it fit under the clearance here of the CPU air cooler? The best is really when you have the parts physically with you and you're manually trying to figure out kakasha ba to sa build ko. So yes, it's very important to plan your build ahead of time. Clearance, compatibility, all of those things can be checked. But just keep in mind that even if you check them, sometimes stuff hits the fan in real life and the component that in your mind dapat kakasha to, for whatever reason, hindi siya kakasha. That's why it's really important, especially if you're building for the first time, to ask advice from friends or from shops like us who have done a lot of builds. So we can tell you based on our experience that oh yes, okay to, these parts are good, this build will work. And this is where kind of appreciation for veteran PC builders comes in because they are the ones who can really tell you that, oh, nagawa ko na yan dati, okay yan. Thanks for watching. Paminsan, may nagtatanong kung may kilala ba kaming computer shop na trusted yung hindi ka lolokohin. Actually, meron. Kami. Full service PC store ang Hardware Sugar. Nagbabenta kami ng PC components. Nagbabenta rin kami ng fully assembled rigs. We clean computers. Kasama na rin yung excellent cable management namin and CPU cooler repasting sa cleaning. We also clean and repaste GPUs. Nasa Makati yung physical store namin and you can also buy from our site. 
www.hwsugar.ph na 100% palaging up to date yung inventory dun. Kung in stock yung item sa amin, available yun sa site. We also ship nationwide. Thanks for watching and maybe one of these days magkita tayo sa shop.